Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial from me. I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. And today we will create this mesmerizing crystal animation. And I promise you, this is the only crystal animation you will ever, 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 ever need. Because you will learn the most important thing, how to create organic shapes. You can change everything however you want to get your unique crystal shape. I will explain you how. And you will also learn the most important things, how to create realistic crystal material. So guys, let's go! The 3D, the 3D Objects, objects. Alright! Wow, 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 wow! This is new. For my most loyal fans, there's of course the project file for free. A numeral code appears in my video. After the release, you have 48 hours to download the files in my Dropbox folder. The number will appear in the top left corner. And the code is split it and you have to search it. But for my loyalist fans, it's not a problem because they always watch the whole video. So have fun rendering, guys. Let's start with the tutorial. First, we go here under the render settings and change the format to 1080 by 1080 pixels to see our render region in the project. And we also change the frame range to all frames because we will render animation. That's it. And for our crystal, I used a platonic and I duplicated it um, a few times. And so we start with the platonic. You can find it here. But you can use for the project every shape you want. But I thought the shape looks the most like a crystal, so that's the reason why I use it. But with bubble, uh, with spheres, you can also create cool bubble stones and other things. So let your creativity in flow. <laughs> okay, now uh, we need a cloner. You can find it here. And the settings are right. We only change here the count value to 2. And we change the size in all axes to 100 centimeters. And so now we need a vector and for this select a cloner, go under more graph and select the random effector. As you can see now we have a random sel uh, selection and position of our platonic. Here we have to deselect the position. We need only the rotation. Here you can put random values inside, it's not necessary which values you put inside. We only want a random um, rotation. And we put a check mark under scale and here we scale everything by 0.5 and all axes. So now we have a cool crystal texture, but you can see we have a lot of uh, sharp edges and this we want to change now and for this we need a volume builder and a volume measure and you put the volume builder under the volume measure and the cloner under it and as you can see now we have smooth edges <laughs> but for my uh, taste it's too smooth you can go under voxel size and here we choose 2 and we also select SDF smooth and here you can play with the values and I think around 35 is good. And that's it for the modeling part. Guys, it would mean a lot to me if you follow me on my social media channels. I post the regularly short tutorials about Cinema 4D and Blender. There you can also vote for further projects and you get also informed about free project files. Thank you so much guys and you find the link in the caption. And now we came to... The Materials. Alright, now we came to the cool part, the material part. And to open the material window you have to go here on the window and open the material manager. 
and I already created the material, um, but I will explain you step by step what I did. And I also opened the render view and the crystal look like this now. So first we start with the material and after it I will explain you uh, how I position the light because light is really important here for this project. And to create the material, you have to play with the IOR value. I choose something really deep, 1.15, to get more transparent areas in the crystal because we also work with a bump map. And the bump texture is really strong in this example. So I uh, decrease the IOR. And because we work with transparent material, in this case, we also have to uh, increase the weight to one. And that's it. After it, you have to search for redshift ramp. It's a gradient and also for a redshift texture. And for the texture, I used something organic like this to get the uh, texture on the stone to create an organic material. You can see it here in the example. All this, what is not transparent, is the texture. And you have to connect it with the color ramp. There you can play with the values a little bit to get uh, better results. And really important, play with the scale value to project the bump map or the texture perfectly on our uh, crystal. And then you have to connect the ramp with the reflection roughness that the texture is only visible on the roughness reflection areas so that we still have our transparent glass material like here in the artwork, the transparent parts like here. All right, then you also have to choose a bump map and the bump you connect with the bump map <laughs> geometry. And here on the height, you can uh, increase or decrease um, the bump map so that you see that the bump map will go inside the stone or outside the stone. So this is a really important value. And the most important thing I forgot is the dispersion value. The dispersion is really important for the colorful reflection inside of the stone. So. If you put it completely out, the stone looks like this, really boring. And a dispersion value of 2 is really good. I wanted a strong, colorful reflection. So 2 is good, 1 is always really strong. It looks unnatural. So that's the reason why 2 is always good in this case. And yeah, that's for the material. And now I show you also the light scene. And for this, I positioned an area light under it and changed the color to a blue color to get a, a more colorful stone or crystal. And the light you can find here and I use the area light. Then I duplicated this light, put it here on the top. Here I changed the color to a um, violet. And I also increase the lightness of the light to two because the light from the top is always more bright than the light from the down. <laughs> yeah. And to get more reflections inside of the stone, as you can see here, this part, I also positioned a light from the front. And here I also increase the value to two. And the most important thing, you have also go to the redshift camera, then under lens effect, and here you have to play with the bloom value. In my case, these are my values. And I also uh, played with the stick value. These are my values. Play around, find a good way that you like. And so I created the reflections here on the stone and overall. And that's it. Really easy, guys, or? You want my project file? You can get it. On Patreon, you can find my project with all textures I use. 
There you can also support me as an artist, so I can create more cool stuff for you. And a very big thank you for my Patreons. You are the best. And now we came to... The Animation. And now we came to, to the last part, the animation. The uh, most difficult part of this tutorial. <laughs> Just joking. Um, yeah, you can change here the frame range. I choose 150. This are around 5 seconds because one frame has 30. Uh, one second has 30 frames. <laughs> so, and yeah, choose the cloner. Then go here to the uh, button, set a keyframe in the beginning of the animation, put the animation slider to the end of the animation, and then take the rotate tool here on the side and rotate the whole stone by 360 degrees. And as a help, you can take the shift uh, button, the shift key, uh, to get easier the minus 350. Uh, 360 degrees and set again a keyframe and now the stone is rotating and you can also change the animation to a linear animation if you want for this you have to go under timeline f curve select here the first uh, point press uh, shift um, the control a to select all points and then you can press here the linear button and that's it now you have a linear animation if you want. And now you can render your scene. And I hope you get also a perfect crystal. Yeah, I hope you liked the tutorial, guys. This was a simple one, but it is really simple. And it is a really cool effect for not so much effort. So I hope you like it. That's it. Well done, Art Invaders. If you want to support me, subscribe to the channel or follow me on Instagram or TikTok. It would be so great if you leave a short message that you are here from this tutorial, so I know you are a real person that like my stuff and nobody else. Mm. There you can also tag me at Art Invader and I will repost as a thank you your artwork in my stories. Mm. And you can also suggest some artists for the next video. It would be also really interesting to see someone out of my bubble. So, uh, by the way, you like this video? Show it with a like or a comment. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next week.